Hello and welcome to my podcast. My name is Becky. Thank you for joining me. Um, you can find me on Instagram and pretty much everywhere else on the internet as Becky Knits and you can find me on Ravelry as Becky Mundy. If this is the first time you are joining me then thank you very much for clicking on my video and if you are a returning viewer then thank you for coming back. I have got my Deadly Nightshade mug and I'm drinking Earl Grey Creme <laughs> from Bird and Blend. I love Bird and Blend tea. Welcome back to my podcast by podcast. This is a knitting crafty podcast with a bit of life stuff sprinkled in at the end. Um, I've had a pretty good week crafting wise. I have finished objects to show you and a few more bits to talk about. So let's just get straight on in with the finished objects. So the first thing I have to show you is my finished autumn -y maple socks. The colourway is maple from Deanna's Home of Craft um, and the pattern is String of Lights by Lindsay Sockwitchery. And yeah, I think I have said enough times on my podcast how much I like this pattern. Um, it's great fun. It's like, it's as easy as vanilla, but a bit more interesting. So those are finished. Um, they are a bit small for me. I think that's why I stalled on them. Um, I think I must have, um, I think these must have been the first pair of socks that I had done with the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. So I wasn't sure how long to do the foot and I think I must have finished them thinking that they were going to fit and then uh, tried them on and then probably thought, oh, I'll have to pull out the toe and um, re-knit the, the sock. But um, they're because I put them away. I'd forgotten that I was going to pull out the toe. So I just knit the second one the same as the first one. And um, yeah, I got to the end and I was like, I think it's going to be too small. And it was, so, um, but that's fine because they're going to go away in my like box of gift knits um, for somebody for their birthday. So um, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for those to go to somebody else. Um, and then I also finished my uh, Christmas at Hogwarts from a homespun house. This, yeah, I just love it so much. It's just so much fun. Uh, this, these are a DK sock and um, I'm just enjoying um, getting a couple of pairs of socks away for when the weather gets really cold. So I am going to pause on knitting DK weight socks um, because it is hot. I was knitting on these ones and it was really warm in my hands. So I'm going to pause until probably um, September time and then I'll be back on the DK socks. Those are finished. I also finished um, a shirt. If you were here last week, um, I was talking about making shirts for my children um, and um, I couldn't decide whether I was going to Rory, uh, make Rory's first or make Aiden's first. Um, I decided to make Rory's first because uh, his birthday was this week. Um, so I wanted that done first. Aiden's birthday was last weekend, but his birthday party is this weekend. <laughs> and I wanted that to be ready for the birthday party. So I decided to make Rory's first for his actual birthday and then make Aiden's um, later for his birthday party. So I'll put a picture of Rory's in here um, because he wore it for his birthday and then it got covered in stuff. So it like not clean <laughs> so here is a picture of him wearing it and um yeah he really liked it he looked super smart in it and yeah just really sweet and I was so pleased with it I ended up putting poppers on it because despite the fact that I have a an enormous box full of buttons I couldn't find I needed 13 buttons so that I had um six for Rory's shirt and seven for Aiden's shirt and I couldn't find um like six buttons that matched and seven buttons that matched so 
Rory's got poppers and actually it was fine. Um, I'd be vaguely tempted to put poppers on Aiden's if it got to the point where I didn't have time to put buttonholes in, but we'll see. Um, but I could find seven, I could find seven buttons for Aiden's shirt, but not, not any matching for Rory's, which was yeah, a bit of a shame, but never mind. So yeah, I was really pleased with how that turned out. And I feel like I'm kind of maybe making friends with my sewing machine again. Um, we'll see, we'll see. So on to whips, I have very few whips. Once I'd finished those, I immediately cast on um, a pair of socks that I decided to sort of have another go at designing. Um, so here they are. I'm gonna hold them a bit far back so that you can't see exactly what they look like. Um, but um, this is the pattern, yeah, that I am writing um, and it's almost finished, almost finished writing it. Um, and so I'll probably be looking for test knitters soon, um, maybe next month. So I'm excited. And um, this colourway is the Fear of the Dark colourway that I showed you last week from um, Cas Castle View Yarns. So um, yeah. It, and I am absolutely loving it. There are just some, like, areas where the colours are just, oh, I don't know. I just, I really love looking at the next bit that's coming up and just admiring what colours are, are coming. I just love it so much. I'm honestly tempted to buy myself a couple more skeins because I just want to have the option to knit this colourway whenever I want <laughs> so I might have to buy some more but um uh yeah so that's I'm really enjoying knitting this and this is kind of all I've been working on um yeah yeah I cast on the cuff of another design it's an old design that I am I I knit the first sock and got the the pattern written out and then I realized that the sock didn't fit exactly as I wanted it to so I'm just having to make a little bit of a modification to improve that so um I kind of put it to one side because I was like oh but now I'm feeling the design bug again so I'm <laughs> I've cast the cuff on for that so I can hopefully get a bit of work done on that but it's just a cuff so I'm not going to show that to you um these socks are living in my space cats and aliens bag so Oh, and I have got my, um, wait, cat loaf from, um, Simply Serving on there as well. So yeah, keep your eye open for the test nut on those if you're interested. Um, that will be coming soon. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm working on at the Mo. And then the other thing that I am working on is... Aiden's shirt. Um, this is a pattern by Waves and Wild, who used to be made by Jack's mum. Um, and I have made it before. I made Rory's shirt, obviously, but then I made a shirt for Aiden two years ago. Um, so I kind of knew what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it. It's like, I felt really clever, but it's really easy. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I really love the pattern. I'm not, I'm not a pattern matcher. You know, I'm not matching. I'm not worrying about matching, like you know, on the pocket, for example. I'm not worried about lining up the pattern. Um, maybe if I was going to make something for a child, I thought they were going to wear it for longer. Then maybe I would bother. But you know, he's probably going to grow out of this pretty quickly. So. Um, I'm not worrying about pattern matching. So I just need to add the sleeves and sew it all up, hem it, and then um, do the buttonholes. So in theory, I'll probably get it finished tonight. I was going to sew on it um, today, but um, my husband's off work, so I think we'll probably do something while the children are in nursery. So yeah, I'm really pleased. Um, with that, if if I get it finished before 
I upload the podcast, then I'll get some pictures of it. If not, I will um, get pictures of him wearing it and pop that in next week. So, so those are those are the two things that I'm working on at the moment. I have got another um, in my TARDIS bag from the Lonely Knitter. I've got um, some yarn caked up. I'm ready to go. I think I showed this to you last week. It's the Flash Dan Dance sock set from a homespun house um so it's flash dance the pink is called barbie uh the green is refresh and this is electric feel uh so i'm excited to get these cast on i just uh yeah just need to figure out how many rounds i think i'm going to get out of a 10 gram ball for my cuff i think i'll get 20 i think that'll be fine so yeah and then, um, and then I have to decide what pattern I'm going to do. And part of me is like, I should maybe I should just do a vanilla sock, but there's part of me that's like, I don't want to do just a vanilla sock. I have another idea for a design in my head, so maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. And there's another part of me that thinks, oh, maybe I could um, just knit a second sample for the. Um, this one that I'm doing and then um, do it with the heel fab and gusset and see, make sure that it works before I send it off for test knits. So that's probably what I'm going to do. That feels like the um, responsible thing to do. Um, oh, I'll talk about, I've got an acquisition. I only got one thing um, this month and it was from a D stash. It is from Nora George Yarns forks it's just so pretty nora george has stopped uh, dyeing yarns and i have only worked with a couple of her yarns and i really like them i really love the colors um so i was quite glad to be able to pick this up and um in a d stash so i'm looking forward to casting it on it's got sort of autumn vibes to me so it's probably going to go away until september but yeah, I got that from a D-stash from Katie of Inside Number 23 podcast. Um, yeah, she has some really nice things I've bought, bought from her D-stashes before. <laughs> it's dangerous. Uh, so that is it for the knitting, sewing content, um, the crafting content. I'm going to talk a little bit about life stuff, including like what I'm watching, what I've been reading, things like that. So... If that's not of interest to you, then that's fine. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Um, but if you would like to stick around and hear a little bit more about me and my life, then uh, maybe pick up your beverage if you haven't already and we'll, uh, we'll chat. Um, so in terms of like what we've been watching and reading, um, my husband has started doing lino cutting and um, he's really good at that. <laughs> and um, I'll leave a link to his Instagram down below. He's just doing it for himself at the moment, like he's not selling anything, just doing it for the fun, but he's really good. So, um, so yeah, so my husband has been doing the lino cut and so he is like sitting at the kitchen table a lot and like drawing and cutting and printing and things like that and really, enjoying that which has meant that I've kind of had a bit more like TV freedom <laughs> we we like the same sort of TV shows but there are definitely things that I um want to watch that he's not as interested in um like critical role I have been wanting to watch this for a while but it's like the episodes are really long you know it's like three or four hours um and like it's just not what he really wants to watch in the evening which is fine although he is he has been like starting to appear and whereas previously he was like reading he's now just watching <laughs> so it's probably gonna end up that he's watching as well which is fine but um yeah so I've been watching a lot of crit critical role um I have started with the third campaign if you watch critical role they're in their third campaign so um yeah, I've started at the third campaign and I'm going to catch up and then I'm going to go back. There's so many. There's like 
so many episodes from the like earlier campaigns that I just do not see it being possible to ever watch them all but um I want to understand some of the jokes so I might see if there's like a like a sort of catch up for the first like part of it and then I can like watch maybe the last like chunk of episodes so I can see like the finale um but I can maybe get like a an abridged version <laughs> so yeah so I've been watching Critical Role we are very much looking forward to Stranger Things Volume 2 um that comes out next week when we're on holiday which should be nice to to watch it while we're away um what else oh yeah reading I have decided that I want to read some Stephen King I've always like seen Stephen King novels and been like nah it's not for me um because it was like you know grown-up books I, I read a lot of high fantasy YA type things um and I kind of just maybe had convinced myself that that was all I could read I wasn't capable of reading anything more complicated um or that I and I also thought like, oh, I don't think I'd like horror or like psychological thriller type things but I read Carrie um which was his first published book and um really enjoyed it really enjoyed it so I have just moved straight into um whatever comes next Salem's Lot move straight into that um I've just read the introduction so far and, and I'm and I quite like the introduction um so yeah and uh I think I'm just gonna read them in publication order um at least to start off with um and then I'm still kind of waiting to for somebody to say you absolutely have to read this one next I've heard really good things about misery so I might read Salem's Lot and then jump over to Misery. I've had a couple of people say to read that one. Um, but I don't know. I've also seen that there are like Easter eggs because it's all sort of in the same universe. And so if I like read them all, maybe in publication order, then I'll pick up on some of those um, Easter eggs. So I don't know. But if you read Stephen King, let me know down below which ones your favourites were. Um, and if you think I need to read them in publication order or whether you think I can just read them however I like. Um, and we'll see. I will, uh, I'm just going to read them and, and enjoy them because, yeah, Carrie was really good. I've not seen the film. I, I want to see the film now that I've read the book. But, yeah, so I enjoyed that. And I think that is everything. I'm just going to check the iPad, see if there's anything. Da -da -da birthdays yeah we've had two birthdays so that's been a bit mad um yeah they had really lovely days we went to the sea life center for Aiden in Great Yarmouth and then we went to the Joyland like fun fair um not a fun fair that's like it implies it like pop up and moves around it's the like I don't know what the word is it's not like a theme park <laughs> there's like rides and things um, Pleasure Beach is what they call it in Blackpool but um, but yeah so it's like little rides little kiddie rides and things like that and he went on the snails which if you're local you'll know is like a bit of a rite of passage for <laughs> children to go on the snails at Great Yarmouth and I had never been on the snails because I did not grow up here so um, I went on the snails for the first time as well <laughs> I'm finally finally graduated to uh, does that make me local now because I've been on the snails am I local so um so yeah um he really enjoyed it I didn't think he was going to he it took some persuasion to get him on he thought they were going to be too fast which you know is amusing <laughs> but um he loved it and so he went on with me and then he came off and he's like, can we go on again? Can we go on again? So I said, well, do you want to go on with somebody else? And he was like, yeah. So then he went on with my mum, which was really sweet. So I could watch him. And then he went on with his dad and then um, with my dad. And then Rory went on with me um, and he loved it as well. And then Rory went on with my dad as well. So yeah, <laughs> it was a lot, of, a lot of snail riding. And by the end, Aiden wanted to go on one of the like quicker 
rides but we said maybe next time so but it was good fun and then for Rory's birthday we went to the zoo um which was also really nice and he just he walked the whole way I think we walked like seven kilometers and he walked pretty much all of it so yeah he's um quite the little walker um and he was exhausted by the time we got home he had two naps yesterday and went to sleep easily at bedtime so yeah it's been so hot as well it's so hard when it's hot and you're little and if you're not little <laughs> it's so hot so yeah i think that is everything i have to talk about um yeah let me know down below about your favorite stephen king novel if you have a favorite stephen king novel um and if you don't have a favorite stephen king novel then let me know what your favorite novel is any novel because i like reading and if you don't like reading what is your favorite tv show at the moment and if you don't like tv then let me know what you do that isn't reading books or watching tv <laughs> Thank you very much for watching um, and I will see you next time. Bye.